Guy's standing here for five years, nothing would surprise you, I'm but let's do what, should we find out what he says? Yeah, go on, get the lie detectors. Thank you. Well, let's have the questions that were asked of Kane, specific questions, and whether he was telling the truth or not. Yes, I know. I've had too much time on my hands lately if I can find time to deconstruct a myth perpetuated on a daytime television show. What you just saw was a typical of a scene on ITV's daytime television programme, The Jeremy Kyle Show. Almost every episode aired since the show was launched over six years ago has featured the results of polygraph testing on participants. The purpose of this video is to point out two things. First, polygraph testing is not as reliable as the show claims, and second, that Jeremy Kyle is not only an arrogant buffoon... Oh no, the tears are drying upon my face! Now you're looking upset. What, you're the only one people find desirable, are you? <laughs> but also thoroughly dishonest. Let's get straight to it. The following two clips are taken from the same episode. Just remember you passed the first question yes, before you I start did. to deride my test, no. Mr. Confident, all right? Yeah. In the first clip, he clearly insinuates that if the result of one question is wrong, then the whole test must be wrong and the results must be the opposite. What do you believe right now? If, it was if he was telling the truth and it, the lie detector did come back that it was like that he was lying and he was telling the truth about it, it only come back wrong on one, not all three. So you believe that something happened? Well, in the second clip, taken earlier in the show, he has it suggested to him that if the person who had just failed the polygraph were telling the truth and the test was wrong, it would not be on every question, but only one of them would have been invalid. Notice that Mr. Kyle did not contradict or attempt to correct this claim in any way, shape or form. The problem is, both statements cannot be true. It's either one or the other. Now, he uses the claim many times throughout the show's history that if the result of one question is invalid, then the results of all the questions must be invalid. So let me get this no. right, and before you diss the test, you pass the sexual intercourse one. He does this when some people question the results of the test when it comes back as them passing at least one of the questions or failing the remaining ones. And he does it in order to suggest that if the test is wrong about them lying, then it also must be wrong about them telling the truth, so then they must have lied on the questions that they passed. This is a dirty trick, and it doesn't make the claim any more valid. Brief lesson in logic. Just because one aspect of any given situation might be wrong does not mean that the entire situation is wrong. This is a hasty generalisation and is a logical fallacy. In the case of polygraph testing, I'm going to temporarily assume that this test is as accurate as the show claims. It does not logically follow that the test is completely right or completely wrong for any given individual. So therefore, when Mr. Kyle makes statements about being one of the 3% who the test is wrong for, he is making an assumption that the test was accurate for all questions, or it was completely inaccurate for all questions. But I do not believe that Mr. Kyle is this incompetent. He's clearly an eloquent speaker, and seems intelligent enough to understand the difference, so I think he's being dishonest. He routinely claims that he stands by his lie detector test, and the show routinely displays a caption at the time the results are about to be read. The lie detector cannot tell you why, where or what, but it can give you a yes or no answer. That part is correct. However, the lie detector also cannot give a yes or no answer because the test relies on a human being reading the physical data and making a determination as to what it means. It is therefore the human who gives the yes or no answer. The rest of the statement reads, it is not guaranteed 100% accurate. Practitioners claim it to be accurate in 96 to 97% of circumstances. What the show doesn't tell you is that not only is this disputed, it is disputed and refuted by the scientific community by general consensus after extensive testing. A 1997 survey of 421 psychologists estimated that the test's average accuracy was about 61%, a little better than chance, chance being 50%. Critics also argue that even given high estimates of the polygraph's accuracy, a significant number of subjects, for example 10% given the 90% accuracy, will appear to be lying and would unfairly suffer the consequences of failing the polygraph. In the 1998 Supreme Court case United States v. Sheffer, the majority stated that there is simply no consensus that polygraph evidence is reliable and, unlike other expert witnesses who testify about factual matters outside the juror's knowledge, such as the analysis of fingerprints, ballistics or DNA find at a crime scene, a polygraph expert can supply the jury only with another opinion. In 2003, the National Academy of Sciences issued a report entitled The Polygraph and Lie Detection. 
the NAS found that the majority of polygraph research was unreliable, unscientific and biased, concluding that 57 of the approximately 80 research studies that the APA relies on to come to their conclusions were significantly flawed. These studies did show that specific incident polygraph testing in a person untrained in countermeasures could discern a truth at a level greater than chance yet short of perfection. However, due to several flaws, the level of accuracy shown in these studies are almost certainly higher than actual polygraph accuracy of specific instance testing in the field. When polygraphs are used as a screening tool, the level of accuracy drops to such a level that its accuracy in distinguishing an actual or potential security violators from innocent test takers is insufficient to justify reliance on its use in employee security screening in federal agencies. In fact, the National Academy of Sciences extrapolated that if the test were sensitive enough to detect 80% of spies, this would hardly be sufficient anyway. Let us take, for example, a hypothetical polygraph screening of a body of 10,000 employees, among which are 10 spies. With an 80% success rate, the polygraph test would show that 8 spies and 1,992 non-spies failed the test. Thus, roughly 99.6% of positives would be false positives. The NAS concluded that polygraph may have some utility, but that there is little basis for the expectation that a polygraph test could have extremely high accuracy. The NAS conclusions parallel those of earlier United States Congress Office of Technology Assessment Report, Scientific Validity of Polygraph Testing, a Research Review and Evaluation. Similarly, a GPA report to Congress on national security concluded that the few government-sponsored scientific research reports on polygraph validity, especially those focusing on the screening of applicants for employment, indicate that the polygraph is neither scientifically valid nor especially effective beyond its ability to generate admissions. Proponents of the lie detection via polygraph machines may argue that, well, if it's so unreliable, why is it used by the FBI, the CIA, law enforcement and businesses across the USA? This is nothing more than an appeal to authority in the majority. Just because a bunch of high-profile organizations use it doesn't mean it's effective. You may as well say that because 1.5 billion people believe in Jesus Christ, that must therefore mean Christianity is indisputable. This simply isn't the case. In conclusion, Mr. Kyle can claim as often as he wants that he stands by his test, but this is not an advertisement for its validity, and rather than give weight to the validity of the lie detector, it only strips Mr. Kyle of credibility. The worst part of the whole thing is that while many people were most likely caught lying, many others were falsely convicted in the court of public opinion when they were simply telling the truth. More information on polygraphs, lie detection and specific cases is available in the info bar.